Rachel Brown for Authentic. We're here outside of Grand Central Station where environmental groups from all over have come together to support and educate at Earth Fair 2007. We're making a shoe called the Ventura that is a vegan shoe. There's no animal products in it. A lot of shoes use horse hooves in the glue. And that's what, why a lot of shoes aren't vegan. Even if there's no leather in it, there's still that type of glue. Treehugger.com is the leading environmental website. We're used as a resource and a tool for people wanting to educate themselves about the environment. We're dedicated to improving air quality in the New York metro area, like taking mass transit, carpooling, and ride sharing, and things like that. What we're really focused on with Greenpeace is pressuring the Bush administration to take a strong anti-whaling stance. We're actually here today for the Rough Guide to Climate Change, which is one title in our list of reference and pop culture titles. Right now, definitely the most important of the issues we work on is global warming. Just because the impact of global warming is so dramatic and so huge, and really the window of time to do something about it is closing, so we need to act quickly. All of our products are biodegradable, and we also look at developing cleaner processes with which to make the shoes. This one has a recycled car tire for the outsole. It has bamboo, which is woven into a fabric in the lining. It has coconut shells for the buttons, and then this is um, a cotton upper. We use water-based cement, so everything that'll just be biodegradable and won't harm the environment. Bicycles do not pollute. If you ride a bike, it will help reduce the pollution going into the air. Rather than putting something in a landfill, get it repaired or donate it to the organization and we'll take parts and might become a necklace or, or an earring. Cutting greenhouse gas emissions by 80% by 2050 is a feasible goal. It's technically possible and we just need a commitment from Congress and state leaders to make that decision. As individuals, there's actually a lot you can do. Consider walking, riding a bike instead of taking a car to work. The thing that I've been meaning to do is to buy more efficient light bulbs. It not only is better for the environment, but it saves you, the consumer, money. One of the simplest things uh, to reduce electricity is replacing um, light bulbs with compact fluorescents. Those are the little swirly ones and they use a quarter of the energy that a normal light bulb does to produce the same amount of light. Also, just by electing to walk more, bike more, use your car less. I just think that everybody can do their little part, whatever that is. There are so many people working hard to save the environment. I'm glad I learned a few new things to do my part. This is Rachel Brown for Authentic.